anyway y'all so um welcome back i guess welcome back welcome back and i know my 22 subscribers do not care where i've been but i'm gonna tell y'all anyway because i'm bored and i'm leaving to channel out of boredom and i'm supposed to keep up with it out of boredom but i haven't been the last time i posted was me but it wasn't even footage from me the footage i posted in may was footage from february which was my cap and gown pictures that i was supposed to post in february but when i was getting ready to post it in february my the videos and stuff i lost them like they was all over the place i think it's because i had some on i had some on my ipad and then i had some on my phone and so they were in like different google photos and i couldn't figure out which one was which and what is what and yeah so i found it i found some of it it's like a 10 minute video and i posted it in may so since then i have i graduated high school period i graduated top 10 percent of my class i had a lot of cords i'm gonna find the post and i'm gonna put i still gonna put a screenshot of the post and what i had got cords for but yeah that was one big milestone I, oh after spring break i didn't post because oh, did i tell y'all in the spring break vlog i got cheated on during spring break and um it's not funny i think it was literally the beginning of spring break i think it was literally spring break had just started like two days ago and i had got cheated on and then i have made i have finished off the spring break vlog and i was it though i got cheated on the end of spring break something like that but i got cheated on during spring break yeah yeah that was it didn't really take a toll on me but it did a little something to me because me and him we were only together for a month after that i had got covid from being out during spring break covid put me into the worst depression i won't say the worst i've been in but one of the worst it's not top two it's top five but it's not top three covid put me into a bad state i've been got broken up with I ain't get break, break, broken up with. I got cheated on and I broke up with him. And then <sighs> I got COVID. So I was going through it. But also because school was ending in like two, three months, a little two months. I had two months left of school. I was just worried about like, am I going to get top 10% because I was not trying to go for 15%. I really wanted to be five, but I realized too late that I didn't try hard enough to be top five. So i settled for 10. why well, i ain't settled for 10 but i got 10. So i was stressing for that i was depressed stressing and finally when we like when seniors like basically attendance didn't matter i stopped like going to school for real so when i found out i had got top 10 percent i was real happy it brought me up a little bit and then graduation was coming soon so i graduated in june boom 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 graduation was graduation it wasn't really nothing fun about it i didn't have fun i mean graduation not supposed to be fun but i didn't have fun afterwards like how everybody else they did something well for graduation everybody else that i know that was in my class at my school they went somewhere in school in my county they went somewhere they was out like all weekend all night after graduation i went to eat where i went to eat at i was the last person to eat at so we was there to closing i just went home i didn't even do anything fun it was so boring um what else i did what else happened they never really happened for real i was gonna vlog graduation but i didn't vlog enough so that's why there isn't one i turned 18 y'all we missed the 18th birthday because i didn't vlog for that because again issues with um dudes because everything i was doing for my birthday was very last minute it wasn't really last minute but like i was trying to get my clothes and outfits and stuff that i wanted to wear i wanted to do more things but i only ended up doing like one thing i really wanted to do everything else i did was like very spontaneous and it wasn't even planned because it didn't give 18 it gave 17 but i tried because the phones wasn't funding you know what i'm saying so i went to dinner i'm gonna put pictures so that i didn't because when i was getting ready to go i was crying blue crying i was actually depressed the whole week before my birthday crying every day so i'm waking up in the morning in the shower blue crying now i'm with the sugar factory happy birthday to you happy birthday to you oh, yeah.
been to Sugar Factory before, but that was my first time actually eating, like sitting down and eating there. And it wasn't the same Sugar Factory that I went to the first time. It was a different one. It was a Sugar Factory on Miami Beach. It was the day before my birthday. That was Saturday. I went out to eat. And then Sunday, my actual birthday, I went to IHOP that morning. Went to the beach. Was at the beach like all day. Up the beach. Went to my house. Got a drink. Came home. Then I rode scooters to like 12 in the morning. And that was it. Off later, September. I started a job. I did not like the job. I get the job so bad. Cause I feel like if you know me, you know one thing that the only not finna do is work no job. Especially not work under no under nobody else for somebody else. I'd rather work for myself. I hate jobs. I don't like jobs. I don't like having to be on somebody's time. I wanna be on my own time. I don't like people controlling me. I wanna control myself. So that's why I do what I do and I do what I do, period. And I for a month and I quit. But while I had the job, I stopped doing hair. But the job was paying a decent amount of money. You know, you can't pay it for me. It was decent. It was 11 an hour. It was like minimum wage, I guess that's minimum wage. And we always only would get one, one 30 minute lunch break. What type of shit is that? I need an hour. I remember they were saying they was going to merge with this other company and they were going to change the pay from every week to every two weeks. Some people would go to different regions. Like, they would change where we at, like, where we got to meet up at. So, I'm like, I barely know the people here right now. And I only been here a month. And they're talking about they're going to merge with another company. They're going to merge with this other company who I applied to before I applied to the company I was working at. And they denied me. Why would I Why would I want to work under them and they denied me? Blue Thorn Tomatoes, they don't deserve me. So I quit. I quit. I quit because of college. Cause I started college in September. I started school online, and I don't go to no big major college. Like I should have though. I I kind of regret not going. I remember right when I quit that job. I think I had started two classes. When I started them two classes, I probably last for like a half a week, and I dropped out of school. I just kept. I just. I was just doing her. I stopped. I got back in school in November, I believe it was November. Cause I wasn't out of school for long. I was just out of school because I was like, I need to get back into who I am because I just abruptly got a job for fun. Then quit the job abrupt suddenly. It's a lot of sudden, sudden things that happen. So I was like, I gotta stop school. So I stopped school. But then my mama started complaining about, oh, you don't do nothing. You just be here. She threw me because she kept saying, well, if you was in school, well, if you was in school, you need to be in somebody's school. You need to be in somebody's school. So I applied back to the school after I told people to take me out of school because I don't want to be in school and because my heart not in it and I'm not doing it for myself. And I'm still half half not doing it for myself, but this shit be easy. So well, it's easy right now. So I'm just vibing. I'm vibing out with it. I'm thugging out with it. So far, I'm doing good. It ain't like I'm dumb. It ain't like I'm dumb enough because I ain't. Well, I got a three point something GBA. <laughs> Both drew from school. And then my mom, but, but because my mom was like in my head, and I'm the type of person like I hate disappointing people, even though people always disappoint me. I just enrolled back into the school. Y'all, did I? Yeah, I think I made my first thousand doing hair like these past couple months. I made my first thousand. I don't believe I ever made a thousand off of doing hair. And I know that's not big to a lot of y'all. I'm not like a thousand dollars is really chump change in this in this damn age because like in the economy like big I'm gonna sound like I'm gonna talk like I know what I'm talking about for real and I don't know what I'm talking about at all. In today's economy right now a thousand dollars is chump change because rent in Miami right now for like a one bedroom it's like thirteen hundred dollars. If you if you could find one for now, eight hundred dollars, more than likely it's in the hood. Or you on section eight or something. It's too much money. Too much money for the environment you're staying in. Miami is not it's not a place to be. Also, I'm also saying this so that y'all do not come to move here. We we pack. Y'all could take that like matter of fact, don't come to the south. I think Texas, Atlanta, Texas, Georgia my florida and california is packed y'all need to move to like the midwest y'all need to take it to the midwest mid east you know the middle of the united states or up north where it be cold at because y'all trying to be here for the sunny weather we don't have no space
single cent. That's an accomplishment for me. I made a thousand dollars off hair in a month. Well, more than a thousand. But it was my first thou wow in a month. And I was so happy. What I do with that money? Spend it. It's gone. I, I made money, but I ain't got nothing to show for it. But yeah, that's why I've been acting. It really, it really been a mental, a mental thing. Like I said, when I have got cheating on it, it's not funny. But when I had got cheated on in March, it was already bad. Because I was like, I really liked him, y'all. I was growing love for him. And I was like, I really like this boy. And you was just going to cheat on me within a month. You couldn't even wait another two. You just going to cheat on me. And he cheated on me with his ex. What's even crazier was the girl told me. Like, she texted me and told, said, yeah, we went on a date. And then we had. Just like that, like, he ain't even giving me a warning. But also that night, I went to a party. So I guess he thought, oh, she finna go to a party. She finna cheat. One thing about me, I'm not gonna cheat when you expect me to cheat. I'm gonna cheat on my own time. He cheated on me flat out. And I was like, dang, you ain't even give me a chance, bro. You just straight cheating. That's crazy. I was so sick and depressed with COVID, bro. I like to get out the room sometimes. It just so happened to be when I get COVID, everybody wanna come to my house. Now I'm missing out on fun. In June, I had gotten in a relationship. And we started seeing each other every day. And then around my birthday time, he started acting real funny. And then we stopped talking to each other. Matter of fact, we broke up a week before my birthday. And I was crying every day. He was supposed to come. And he had met my daddy. And he met my mama. He met my sister and my little brother. And don't nobody be meeting my daddy. Everybody, cause everybody be meeting my mama. Because my mama was friendly. Mama is so friendly, but nobody really meet my daddy. But when he, but him meeting my daddy, that clearly that meant meant something. So him meeting my daddy was really something. And then we ended up breaking up. When I get to my dinner, my daddy asked him about him. Oh, what happened to your little boyfriend? I'm like, Daddy, please leave me alone. I don't talk to that boy no more. Please, please, please. Everything really been mental. Been really been a mental battle. I'm better now. From September to December. Probably had like first two battles ever. This is a catch up video because I want to do a story time on something that happened in September. I think I'm gonna do a hair video. I won't say life been traumatizing, but I'm gonna say it, boy, have it been. It been something. As soon as the nigga turned 18, life kind of went downhill for me. I don't know about y'all. That shit went. That shit. I said, wait. And I kind of had to hop off the roller coaster for a little minute, but I'm back on it. Thank y'all for coming to my TED Talk. Come again. It's going to be another one. I don't know what it's going to be about. It's going to be something. You saying at the end of these videos, tell Tracy them. I ain't even going to do too much. Just tell Tracy them, like, comment, subscribe. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. We don't care about the end of the video. We're just going to end it.